In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the picture effect within X lights. So here is the icon and I'm going to drop it, drag it down and put it on a matrix. Now, the first option I'm going to cover is the load image button. So if we click here, we can browse to our image. Now, what I would suggest is where possible, if you can create PNG images rather than JPEG, transparent PNGs. And you'll see why. If I've, I've got, this one is a transparent PNG. So if I leave it as this, what this allows me to do, the background is transparent. So if I pull an, an effect on a layer below, it allows me to display images on top. Now, if I was to trans change this to a JPEG, this beer mug, you can see we get this ugly white area around our beer mug. So the preference is, you know, like a, a PNG like this, or you choose the other one, like a little elf. Okay, I'll, there you go. So PNG with transparency is what you need. The next option is movement. So there's lots of things you can do. You can have the item coming on the screen from the left, up, down, right, etc. Peekaboo will bring the image in then take it off. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So scale to fit so you see it more. And we've got a wiggle left to right. A zoom in and various different peekaboos so it just pops them in and pops them out again a flag wave I'll need to increase the movement speed so you can see this it just does a slight up and down jiggle so it looks like a flag and down one tile yeah if I make this no scaling you'll see the tile effect it will Fill your prop with miniatures of your particular item based on the scale that you set here. So let me move down now. Movement speed. This is the number of cycles that your animation will do between this start and end point. So if I say select left, you can see it does it one time. If I increase the speed, you can see it's doing more cycles. So that's the movement speed. Frame rate is when you have an animated GIF. So I'll just quickly put an animated GIF in. So I've got mine here. Animated GIFs. If I say I've uh, this a rotating candy cane. Okay, I'll change this to none and scale to fit. So you can see I've got a candy cane here that rotates. Put an effect behind it as well. And what I can do now, because it's an animated GIF, I can actually alter the frame rate of that GIF if I want it spinning more quickly. Okay. So let me go to some of the scaling options now. So you've got no scaling. So now it will take the scaling information from this, these two places here. So start scale, if I make this, 40 you can see start scale and end scale is, is you can see it's shrinking because of that if I make them the same number it will stay the same and you can see I can create zoom in effects like this using the start and end scale so that's when you've got no scaling selected scale to fit will try and make the prop uh, sorry your image fit the prop that you're putting it on Scale to fit, but keep the aspect ratio. So what it will do, it will try not to stretch or squish your image, but still make it fit. And then scale to fit with crop. So it will, it will, it will fit it as, as good as possible, but it will allow some crops at the edges as well. So I'm gonna put it back to no scaling for now. And I'm gonna set the numbers just to the same to keep it static. Start position. If you're on a, a, a static, uh, effect like this you know a movement of none or whatever 
you can actually move where, where the prop appears. Sorry, where the image appears on your prop. Now, if we want to do an animation, if we change this from none to vector, it will now move from whatever I set the start position. So if I make my start position down here and I move my end position up here, you can see it animates from this start X and Y coordinate to this end X and Y coordinate. And then there's the ability to do wrapping as well. So as it goes off one edge, it starts to appear on the other edge of the prop. Transparent black. This tries to, if you've, if you've not got, say, an image that has transparency, but it has a, bl a black background, you can do this in, in some cases, it will remove the black background so you can you know, get away with a standard JPEG, but much better to have a PNG uh, in, instead with transparency. And suppressed GIF background will do the same. It will try and analyze which, what is the background pixels so you don't end up with your non-transparent GIF obliterating your display. So you've got a similar effect with uh, transparency with images as well. Uh, I don't know if I've got a GIF with without transparency. Uh, yeah, one like this. So this is actually black. So if I put this behind, you can see that looks pretty ugly. However, if I get one with transparency like this one, you can see, I scale this down a little bit. You can see, yeah, I've got a little bit of black pixels there, but you can see it's a, a much better rendition. So that about covers it for the picture effect. So until next time, see you later.